Hi guys, today we're going to be making my delicious hawthorn ketchup. So hawthorns are one of the most common hedgerow plants we have in the UK. They're abundant so it's just a matter of going out to harvest them and then we're going to come back to the kitchen and we're going to cook them up into this delicious tangy almost kind of sweet and sour tasting sauce so it's really easy all you'll need is your hawthorns some water some sugar or honey and some vinegar um so let's go so we're off to pick our hawthorns and what you're looking for is a hedgerow shrub or small tree with these round almost squarish red berries and these little black star shapes at the end so when you're picking the hawthorn, as always, just take a few from each tree and they sort of taste like tomato and an apple. <laughs> so what we're doing is we're just plucking off the hawthorns and trying to get as little as the leaf in your basket as possible. And when you've collected a good kind of half a basket, so you want to end up with 600 pounds of the processed hawthorns, you just pick them off their stems and give them a good rinse. Okay guys, so what I've done here is added my hawthorns, which ended up, after they've been processed, being 600 grams, to a jam pan. You can use any big pan really. And then I've added 400 grams of water and 300 grams of apple cider vinegar. And again, you can use whatever kind of vinegar you like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this up to the boil and then I'm going to turn the heat right down and let it simmer for about half an hour. You can always add more water if the fruit starts sticking to the bottom of the pan and you'll know it's ready when you've just got a kind of fruity pulp. Um, you'll see that all the fruits come away from the stones and you'll just have a kind of thick fruity pulp. Okay, so I've just strained the um, hawthorn ketchup, so this is what it looks like. And I'm going to put it back in a pan um, and bring it to a simmer, and then I'm going to add um, sugar. So I'm, I think I'm going to probably add about 200, but I'm going to add just less than 200 grams and just sort of taste it as I go and work out how sweet I'd like it. Okay guys, so our ketchup is sweetened now. I ended up using probably about 190 grams. And then I'm just sterilising some bottles um, or some little jars to store it in. And then we've also made these delicious crispy roast potatoes with rosemary and lemon. So we're going to try our ketchup and see what it's like. Mm -hmm. 